Hi everyone, welcome to another video, only in a different format. With this video I want to start music theory lessons as a part of my YouTube channel. For the first video I want to talk about music notes and their names and how to read them. Most important thing that we have to establish before we even start looking in the staff is the clef. What clef is in the beginning of the staff? We'd have treble clef and bass clef. These two are in constant use in accordion sheet music. There are more clefs in music, but now is not the time to explain them. Today we are going to use a treble clef. Two most important characteristics of every note is how much the note lasts and what key should we press when we see a note. This is a very simplified way of explaining the notes. There is much more to that, but this is enough for now, so I won't go any deeper than that. Let's start with the duration of the note. The longest note is a whole note. It lasts four beats and we count it one, two, three, four. Next one is half note. It lasts for two beats. Next one is quarter note. One beat, eight note, half beat, and we also have sixteenth notes and thirty second notes. In every measure, as the time signature says, we have four quarter notes in total, no more, no less. What combination will happen in the measure depends on the melody, and the melody depends on the composer. We can have two quarter notes and one half note, or we can have two eight notes, one half note, and a quarter note. There are so many possibilities. Now, let's talk about the height of the notes, and let's start from the middle C. This is your first C on every accordion keyboard. As you can see, it is written on the first ledger line below the treble staff. Key of D is placed below the first line of the staff. E is placed on the first line of the staff. F in the first empty space. G on the second line. A on the second empty space. B on the third line. C on a third empty space. After that, you're just repeating the sequence. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think and see you next time.